hey hi everyone welcome to the next video on analog and digital electronics that is design of decoder circuit myself ganesh and naina presents you the design of decoder we are from kk wag institute of engineering education and research nashik what are the learning outcomes of today's session uh, the learning outcomes at the end of this session the learner will be able to define decoder design 2 as to 4 decoder design 3 as to 8 decoders design binary to decimal decoder and state the application of decoder so the content for the today's session is introduction to decoder 2 as to 4 decoder 3 as to 8 decoder and application of decoder so let's see what is the definition of the decoder now decoder is the combinational circuit that has n input lines so it is very important word that is decoder has okay so decoder has uh, the n input number of lines okay decoder has the n input number of lines and 2 raised to n output lines so if you observe here the n inputs and 2 raised to n output lines maximum 2 raised to n output one of these output line will be active high based on the combination of input okay one of the output line is high be depending upon the combination of the input present when the decoder is enabled okay enable signal is also important in that case that means decoder decades a particular code the output of the decoder are nothing but the mean terms okay so see that encoder we are using the max terms here it is the mean terms mean terms of n input variable lines when it is enabled so we will design uh, this decoder circuit okay so we will design this decoder circuit uh, uh, first we will see the decoder simplest simplest decoder that is one as to two decoder in the one as to two decoder the input line is one so obviously two raised to one okay so 2 raised to 1 so it will give you 2 the output lines are 2 so uh, uh, so input lines is 1 so the output line is equal to 2 raised to 1 that is the 2 okay 2 raised to 1 that is output is 2 uh, lines so when the input a0 is equal to 0 it will produce a 0 1 that is y0 will be equal to 1 y1 is equal to 0 when a0 is equal to 1 it will give you y1 is equal to 1 and y0 is equal to 0 it will it will decode the binary into corresponding output if input is 0 then output is present at the y0 when input is 1 output is present at the y1 so this is the decoder circuit let's understand how this decoder uh, what is the equation for this decoder so for this y0 the equation will be equal to a0 dash and for this y1 the equation will be equal to a0 okay so let us understand 2 as to 4 decoder in the 2 as to 4 decoder the number of input lines are 2 and the output lines are 2 square 2 square that is equal to 4 so the simplest circuit is a1 a0 are the input and outputs are y0 y1 y2 y3 so two inputs four output one more signal is added here that is enable okay why this enable is signal is important here because when both inputs are 0 0 the output is 0 but if nothing is present unless you pass this enable signal this decoder will not work that all outputs will be 0 okay so that enable signal will decide whether this IC, whether this decoder is to be worked or not so enable signal when it is a 0 and whatever the input a0 a0 a1 and a0 what are we can say uh, if a1 and a0 it is a don't care whatever the input at this two in uh, a1 and a0 and if the enable is equal to 0 the output will always remain to 0 0 when enable signal receives 1 then this decoder will be in active state and if the input is equal to 0 0 it will produce the output y0 is equal to 1 when enable is equal to 1 and input sar 0 1 it will produce the output y1 is equal to 1 when it is 1 0 it will produce the output 1 when it is 1 1 output will be at y3 okay so corresponding outputs will be high depending upon the binary combination so how to design what will be the output equation the output equation is obviously anded operation these are the mean terms so see that when the y0 is present when e is present a1 is equal to 0 and a0 is equal to 0 so to get the output one of the and gate i have to take a1 dash and a0 dash so e y0 equation will be equal to a1 dash a0 dash so this is the mean term what is the y1 y1 will be present when this is 0 1 and enable is equal to 1 that is e 
a1 dash because a1 is equal to 0 and a0 is equal to 1 says a0 is taken as it is. So e into a1 dash a0. Likewise y3 is equal to e into a1 into a0 dash and y4 is equal to e into a1 into y0. So these are the output equations. So how we can implement this into the logical gate. So these are the output equations which are required. So corresponding uh, outputs are when this is e a1 a0 y3 will be present when all inputs are high y2 will be present when a0 is low and others are high y1 will be present when a1 uh, a1 is low and all inputs are high and y, y0 will be present when a1 a2 both are 0 and enable is 1 if the enable is equal to 0 the output will be always remain equal to 0 0 0 so this is a 2 as to 4 decoder now let us see 2 as to 3 as to 8 decoder this is also called as a binary to octal it will produce the binary code corresponding octal indication okay so output is equal to inputs are 3 the outputs is equal to obviously 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8 so 3 and 3 lines of the input and 1 is the enable and corresponding outputs are inputs are a0 a1 a2 outputs are y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 and enable is the one of the input that is the control signal so enable is added here so 0 0 0 so it will produce as the 0 as enable is equal to 0 all outputs will be 0 when enable is equal to 1 and input is 0 0 0 it will produce y0 is equal to 1 when enable is equal to 1 and input is 0 0 1 that is a0 is is equal to 1 it will produce y1 is equal to 1 when input is equal to 1 it is 0 1 0 so it will produce 1 see 1 0 is the equivalent octal code is 2 so it will give it will give the output at y2 1 0 0 1 0 0 means okay so what is the value of 1 0 0 in octal 1 0 0 means it is nothing but equal to 4 so hence y4 is equal to 1 okay see 1 1 0 1 1 0 means in octal number it is equal to 6 hence the y6 will be equal to 1 1 1 1 is equal to 7 means y7 is equal to 1 so corresponding output will be 1 that is a logic high so this is the 3 as to 8 decoder so how i can implement this 3 as to 8 decoder so let us write down the equation for this okay so the corresponding equations are so enable is always required a1 dash a2 dash a0 dash so see that uh, in this circuit when the y0 is equal to 1 when e is equal to 1 a2 dash a1 dash a0 dash e a2 dash a1 dash a0 okay so then y1 is equal to 1 so like if we write down the equation for all this then y0 is equal to this equation y1 y2 y3 from the truth table we can easily write down these equations so after writing these all equations so we can implement the circuits e a2 a1 a0 are the input when all inputs are 0 0 and enable is equal to 1 it will give the output at the y0 otherwise y0 will be 0 y0 is equal to 1 only when these three inputs are 0 when this is 0 0 1 y1 will be equal to 1 likewise it will, it will produce the output from y0 to y7 depending upon the input binary input present at a0 a1 and a2 line okay so here again i have a reflection point for you uh, i want to design binary to decimal decoder okay binary to decimal decoder how many inputs and outputs are required so pause the video for some duration and uh, let me know the answer of this hope you got the correct answer let's check what is the correct answer in binary input okay so in the binary design of binary to decimal decoder binary is represented by okay so binary is represented by binary is represented by a 4 bit number and decimal number is is from 0 to 9 hence number of inputs are the 4 and number of output lines are the 9 because decimal output is decimal output will be from 0 to 9 so 0 to 9 so it will start with the y0 and end with y9 so outputs are total 9 inputs and maximum number which is required to represent 9 is from 0000, 000 
to 1001 that is it can be represented with the 4 bit hence i will require input a0 a1 a2 e3 we can add the enable signal also here okay so if the enable is equal to 111 then it will will, will be produce output here i am not showing the enable signal to avoid the complexity but enable signal is always present here keep in mind enable signal is always required there okay so how we can write we can uh, design this circuit so let us write down the output equation from this to write down the output equation when a0 y0 is equal to 1 y0 is equal to 1 when a3 dash a2 dash a1 dash a0 is a max term mean term similarly y1 will be present when a0 is equal to 1 so that is a3 dash a2 dash a1 a0 okay so likewise so here again i am say i am uh, i have not included e but the enable is multiplied with the all okay so enable is multiplied with the all from this to this end enable should be multiplied with all okay so uh, so please understand so i have not indicated because to avoid the complexity but the enable signal is required here okay so what are the applications of this decoder decoder are generally used to application whether the particular output of or the group of outputs are activated only on the occurrence of specific combination of input levels binary to decimal decoder address decoding in the microprocessor and microcontroller and instruction decoding in the microprocessor and microcontroller so these are the application let's summarize all the things together so decoder are the specially used to convert the code in decoder maximum number of outputs can be be calculated from two rest to n inputs is equal to outputs decoder are used in the microprocessor and microcontroller for memory addressing enable line can be added in the decoder to avoid the false output so uh, let us stop here uh, with this we are at the end of the design of uh, combinational circuit so thank you uh, let's meet in the next video in, in which we are going to discuss uh, about the uh, design of sequential circuit Thank you very much.